Hello there. Straight out of the gate, uh, this video is all about making you sign a petition. And this petition is something that's quite important for me and for other gamers. And well, you can check it out yourself. The link is already down below if you're not interested in watching the rest of this video. And if you are interested in listening to my reasons, stick with me. So let's go here. This website is called Stop Killing Games. It was uh, published by Mr. Ross Scott and his teammates. And basically what this is, um, about is about killing basically online uh, games. These are games like Crew 2. I'm not sure if you have heard of this case, but there are some other ca cases uh, going on recently, like uh, Gran Turismo uh, Sport from PlayStation. Uh, basically what's going on is that you purchase a video game. Let me just take the video back. So you purchase the video game and you think that you own it, but at some point the manufacturer of the game, the developer, the publisher, whoever it is, they decide to uh, turn it off because it is no longer uh, worth it for them to keep the servers up for you. So the game to be remaining functional uh, and instead they just shut it down and then you no longer have the game. And well, the reasons for this can be multiple. It can be that they want to make a new game and they want you to buy a new one uh, and the new one will get the more money than the old one. Uh, usually it's a sequel. Uh, it can be another uh, scenario. It can be that they don't have a sequel, but the old game is no longer popular enough and you are no longer uh, buying into their microtransactions or not enough people are buying their game anymore to cover the costs of the server. All this is pretty legit from the business standpoint, right? But from my standpoint as a, a user, as the end user, as the gamer, uh, this is not okay because I have purchased my game and I expect my game to remain functional. And when you are buying an online game, buying uh, under quotation marks, you can pretty much be aware of this problem that some games get shut down and then you don't have any more access to it. But I think we can change this. I have been talking about this with my friends for a couple of years now and it's it's a topic that's been going, going on since the dawn of the, I think, Xbox 360. Uh, and now this Mr. Ross uh, Scott is doing um, a major, uh, how do I put it, um, he, he's leading the pact, right? So he wants us to sign this and it's, it's a really good goal. So what they are asking from us is that we sh sign this and how this works. You will go to this website. Uh, you will choose which country you're from. It will ask you uh, about... Um, Let's agree to this. Um, basically, you need to provide some identification that you are the one who is signing this. And the reason for this is because if you go to how it works, basically the first steps are already done. Mr. Uh, Ross Scott has already registered this um, uh, petition. Uh, he already has uh, a part of the support, like a few a couple of colleagues from different countries, and now he needs 1 million signatures. And next to the 1 million signatures, uh, he needs to meet the threshold of minimum numbers in at least seven different EU countries. And if you go to the threshold here, uh, for example, Bulgaria, if this will be one of the seven countries that will be the one meeting the threshold, then uh, they need uh, 12,240 signatures from Bulgaria and 15,000 more from Czechia and 10,000 more from Denmark uh, and, and etc. So if you, if you go back, you can see that they already have 175,000 signatures out of 1 million. Uh, and if we go below, uh, you can check view all countries. And you can see where this threshold um, threshold is the middle. 
uh, column and let's say Germany is okay let's uh, let's check the percentages yes uh, so Germany already has 56 uh, percent of the threshold Denmark is already at uh, 66 um, Netherlands 66 uh, we have had uh, Sweden almost 80 I think Finland was high Finland Finland yeah Finland, Finland is uh, the the top performer here bravo for Finland dudes and Finland gamers um, so one of the things that is important is they need to get actually more than 1 million signatures uh, I'm not afraid for the threshold I think this will be met in a matter of one month and the whole thing is, go is going to be happening for uh, up to 12 months but I think we can get there you know in a month uh, as the tempo that uh, we are signing this but we need to sign more than 1 million because uh, many of you will not understand that you, you cannot uh, provide uh, false information so this is not uh, yet another uh, signature on the internet you cannot sign this anonymously you need to put your name on it you need to put your uh, identification number in your European country and they will verify every single one of these signatures so you, your number needs to be uh, correct whether this is something that you are willing to sign and put your actual name to it I'm gonna leave this up to you but I think this is a worthy cause to put your name uh, onto it because at the end of the day uh, they are taking the games away from us the games that we have purchased and the reason why I think this is a good cause and there will be no harm uh, basically to anyone in my opinion because for example the crew 2 this game has been discontinued and the reason for discontinuing this game I suspect is a licensing deal with uh, car manufacturers so one of the this is actually very common in, in car racing games. Uh, Microsoft has Forza games that get delisted uh, from the um, sales and this is a part of their contract. Uh, Sony delists uh, their um, racing game. This is also a part of their contract with car manufacturers. I, I suspect the crew too is the same uh, the same thing but some of, some of the differences is that the Microsoft has a lot of money and they have Azure and they have a ton of servers so they don't really care about leaving a couple of servers running indefinitely so basically after they delisted their Forza games you can still play these games how long they will be playable I don't know uh, but contrary to Sony and Ubisoft at least they are having their servers up and running but I'm saying that this is Microsoft they have a lot of servers they have a lot of money they can um, they can do this uh, smaller studios and I'm not saying Ubisoft is small studio they have a plenty of money but if it would come to really uh, smaller studios that ha that somehow got themselves into a situation where they can no longer sustain their game uh, whether it's through uh, selling more copies like um, No Man's Sky is doing they, they are basically uh, keeping their uh, boat afloat by selling more and more and more and more copies uh, some other uh, online games are doing this uh, via microtransactions and via microtransactions we are feeding into their uh, money pool right so uh, if they decide to dump their game and move on um, what the, what we are asking what Mr. Scott and his team uh, are asking is that they should provide a way for us to continue playing the game and not necessarily to keep their servers up they should give us uh, a code uh, for their um, online server so we can install it locally a lot of games are doing this for example uh, counter-strike uh, from valve you can install your own server uh, offline and play completely offline uh, nobody's stopping you uh, from doing exactly that and not at all um, you know playing online uh, you can do this with hello games you can install your local um, server right um, the the crew game is actually a particular uh, pe peculiar case because uh, most of this game can actually be played in single player mode and the game does not really uh, need online play because 
the how, how the game is structured is that you're playing a kind of a campaign you're uh, role playing uh, someone who is driving this car and a lot of this is going on on your local gaming device whether it's a console or pc and the online connection in most of the cases is not really required uh, for this game so what they should be doing is when the end of support for the game approaches they should find a way to make this game playable offline. In the case of Crew 2, they should just cut off the online part where you race against other people and just make the game, uh, just patch the game and make it a single player game. That That's it, that's it for the crew. Um, in, in case of, let's say, um, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is one of my favorite games and this is a pure online game. However, I have a lot of experience with this game and if, Microsoft would decide uh, to stop selling this game. I'm sure that they will keep the servers running uh, because they keep doing that for their games. But um, what I think another um, publisher uh, that doesn't have that much money or servers as Microsoft, Microsoft does, and, and if, the, if they would have a game such as Sea of Thieves, uh, they could uh, in theory rework this game mechanics to make it enjoyable for us to play it single player because uh, this particular game CFTs I have been playing it a lot with my friends in the beginning and as time went on uh, I have been transitioning to playing it more and more solo and recently I haven't been even um, meeting other people in the game like like uh, even if another boat or ship uh, passes through I kind of avoid them and do my own thing and I think this can all be done uh, as a patch, right? So they can make it work on offline. Most of these, these games can make uh, to to be, um, you know, uh, it it can it can work offline. Uh, and what this um, what this uh, petition is asking is precisely what I have described. They want EU uh, to listen to us. They want. Um, they want to pass this uh, as a law that the game should not be sold unless they can uh, find a way to maintain it uh, indefinitely or give it to us to function offline after the support period is ended. And what is going to happen after the signatures are collected? Uh, we can go back to the website after the signatures are collected. Um, there are some timings here. Uh, they will uh, verify our uh, signatures. Uh, the Ross Scott will submit the initiative, uh, and there are some more, um, you know, dates that when the uh, people of the initiative will meet uh, the EU government, and they will there will be a hearing, and they they will get some answers. Uh, so whether or not this will be uh, passed as a law, we cannot know. But if you read through the uh, w what the petition is asking for, I think it's very reasonable. And in my honest opinion, uh, this has a solid chance of passing. So please sign it and maybe pass along to your uh, friends who are gamers in the European Union. And I'm going to see you in the next video. <music>